All right, this is a video about the Unihertz Atom, which is a little mobile phone, very small Android device. Uh, it's got some pretty good specs, really. It's got a, like a quad-core processor and plenty of RAM, um, and it's tiny. So I filmed. What did I film? I filmed some kind of test, didn't I? Nice. Look at that. Front-facing camera test. Unihertz Atom camera phone. Tiny, tiny, tiny little hundred gram phone. It's just a test video. Video doesn't look too bad to me. This phone's got a tiny, tiny, tiny screen. Like, what, two, two and a half inch screen? So I can't really see much on it anyway. Just wondering what the audio's like, what the video's like. It records on Strava. I'm actually recording on this actual camera right now on Strava. Um, I was quite impressed with it. Quite impressed with the fact that I could see myself filming in the front, in the screen, which you can't with the GoPro. The actual video quality is poor. Um, what else about it? It's, um, it's pretty small, so I've got a bike mount actually. So I'll show you the bike mount. There it is. To be honest, that's quite ugly. <laughs> um, and it's not very stable. Look at that. It kind of vibrates around quite a lot. It's in this silicon shell. Let's see if I can get it out. That's how it goes in and out. It uh, does wobble around. It's never actually come out. It's never come out at all. Um, screen screen's usable, but it's not great. It's not very enjoyable to use. Things like Instagram, you can take pictures and post pictures up there, but it's not enjoyable to use. You're scrolling through people's pictures and you're like, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a bike. Oh, that's that's what so and so had for tea, but other than that, you can't make out anything. Um, the good thing is it's USB C, USB C port in there, um, and what you can do, the possibilities with this, basically, is you replace your normal phone, you can replace your uh, 200 gram tablet kind of thing with just this thing. This has got a good battery life. Um, It'll last like a whole day. So if you're out on a big bike ride and you need a bike computer and a phone and a camera, uh, this seems to fit the bill. I don't know if I'd have it on my bars like this. Maybe just in a jersey pocket or something. But um, the possibilities of this on big long Audax rides is you can get a Dynamo hub, you can link up a charging device, and you can plug straight into that thing. And you've got your phone, you've got your camera, you've got your GPS. I'm using Strava right now, and yeah, it's usable. You can see where you've been. You can just about zoom in and out. Ugh. Miss clicking all the time because the screen's so, so tiny. So there we have it. Just thought I'd show you how... Uh, good or bad that bike mount is which to be honest it's it's that bit solid but it's just horrendously ugly this bit's a bit wobbly so there we go what I didn't say about it it's fully waterproof it's rugged you can drop it you can stick it you can it can be in a rainstorm that's fine that's not an issue um, so it's ideal as a outdoorsy kind of phone to put on your bike, take out and about, you don't need any more covers on it. Um, it's really fast, actually does all the things that the applications ask of it. And it's tiny. Been using it two weeks now, so I'm quite happy with it, apart from this bike mount thing, which is good for a commute, but I don't know, not convinced by it really. It's a, it's a bit of an ugly design. It needs to be more like a quad lock, 
low profile, not sticking up like that, not wobbling around everywhere. Uh, I'm going to try it on a few long rides. I might hook it up to a charging device and uh, I'll see how I get on. Alright, see you later.